you can count on. This is CBS 11 News at 4. Welcome back. A former Enron executive says former CEO Jeffrey Skilling pressured him to paint a misleading picture of the company's broadband unit. In testimony that took place yesterday, Kenneth Rice said he was prepared to tell the Enron Board of Directors back in May of 01 that the outlook for Enron broadband services was not good, but the board never saw or heard the gloomy prospects. There's been a lot of developments in the Enron case over recent days, including an unprecedented use of videotape in court. Put it in perspective, talk about it. This morning, jury and trial consultant Mary Griffiths back to uh, talk, the, talk about the trial with us. So one interesting uh, moment happened with a juror that you were just explaining to me who asked the uh, prosecution a, a question. He asked, uh, actually, it was a lady juror who asked the defendant's lawyer, your cologne was a little bit too excessive. So she asked the judge if the judge could tell Mr. Skilling's lawyer to to take off his cologne because it was interfering with her concentration. Now, now on, on the surface, that may sound flippant and okay, it, it is whatever it is, but you know, f as far as a jury is concerned, if you begin to get aggravated by someone on one side of the table or the other, right. matters? Well, it does tell us a little bit about this particular juror. She must be somewhat of a strong, you know, juror to walk up to the judge and say, you know, I'm really kind of feeling sick with right, this. So right. can you tell him to sort of tone it down or take off that cologne? Right. Interesting side note in the trial. So let's talk about the Kenneth Rice testimony. Uh, you know, he, he's basically saying he was pressured by all of this, obviously. Right. Uh, but there was some use of videotape that we mentioned in court recently as well. And this was an interesting scenario because jurors had to sit through like seven, eight or nine hours of this stuff. Right. After a while, it's got to sound like like white noise, but in particular, there's one item on the tape that we want to share with you this morning. Have you watch it as well and listen to it and get your reaction. This is Kenneth Lay some five to six years ago. Listen to this. Our liquidity is fine. Matter of fact, it's better than fine. It's strong. Our chief has done said that this company has never been any stronger. Hang on to your stock. That is where we messed up by hanging on to our because they were dumping ears by the bucket pools. So that last gentleman you just heard from is an employee, a former employee of Enron, who lost $1.2 million, and he was very angry over the, uh, over the sound bite that you heard with Kenneth Lay from five years ago. So can a jury wade through nine hours of videotape, you know, or whatever it be, just for that single sound bite? Well, you know, it is the defense's sort of strategy to show this video, to show a lot of video, to sort of muddy the waters. The jurors are going to look for Everybody starts to lose interest after watching even 30 minutes of video. If they can wade through for, for sort of the human moments like what you saw right there, takes a lot of concentration to do it, but it's sort of the defendant's strategy to show all this vo you know, video to muddy up the waters so you won't think about what really this case is about. Point is. Right. right. Next up, uh, they are not in trial today, by the way, nor Monday's federal holiday Monday. Uh, former corporate secretary for Kenneth Lay comes up starting up Tuesday. Mary, thanks for being here right. again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Following the Enron trial. Shannon?